Because Access stores dates as serial numbers, it becomes very easy to perform date comparison or define ranges of dates. We've seen these comparison operators before, but I thought it would be valuable to review them and see how they can be applied specifically to working with dates. For this movie, let's take a look at exploring our employees' hire dates. I'm going to start a new query in Design View, and I'm going to go ahead and add in my employees table. We'll go ahead and close the show table window. From the employees table, let's add the employee ID, the first and last name, and I'm going to scroll down here and choose the hire date. Now let's make sure that we're sorting our hire dates. So I'm going to choose to sort them ascending, so they go from the oldest to the newest. And we can go ahead and run the query to see our 741 employees and the dates that they were hired. Let's go back into Design View. Now we can filter our results to a specific hire date just like we can with any other criteria. I just find the criteria row in this query design grid, and underneath hire date, I type in the date that I'm interested in. Let's say that we wanted to find all the employees that were hired on May 15th, 2014. So I'll come down here and I'll just type in 5 slash 15 slash 2014. When I press enter, Access automatically wraps around these hash or pound symbols. These are equivalent to the quotation marks that appear around text fields. Here, the pound symbol is just telling Access that this is a date, not the formula 5 divided by 15 divided by 2014. Now that we have our date criteria in, let's go ahead and run the query. And we can see that it filters to just the two employees that were hired on May 15th. Let's go back into Design View here. Now I'm going to edit this criteria a little bit. Access is actually really smart about how you can enter in dates. For instance, if I typed in the word May 15, 2014, notice that when I press Enter, Access converts it to the numerical values. I can also type it in with different separators. So if I type in 5-15-14, Access still understands that that's the exact same value. So that's how we specify a single criteria. What if we wanted to specify a range of dates? For instance, what if I wanted to find all of the employees that were hired since 2012? Well, I can go in here into this criteria row, and we'll highlight this and get rid of it, and we can use some of our comparison operators that we saw earlier. I'm going to type in the greater than symbol, and then type in 1 slash 1 slash 2012. Go ahead and press Enter, and Access wraps those date delimiters around it. Let's go ahead and run this query. Now we can see that we have 170 employees that were hired since 2012. Now there is one small problem with this. Let's go back into Design View. In this criteria here, I specified that I wanted everything that was greater than 1, 1, 2012. What I actually typically probably wanted was all of the dates that were greater than or equal to 1, 1, 2012. If I type in greater than or equal to and run the query again, you'll notice that I actually had one employee that didn't show up in the original query. So when filtering your date-based criteria, you need to make sure whether you're literally looking for something that's greater than or looking for something that's greater than or equal to. That's a really common mistake to make. Let's go back into Design View. Now we can also specify ranges of dates. So for instance, if I wanted to find everybody that was just in 2012, not since 2012, we can come back down here into this criteria, and let me make this column a little bit wider here. And I can specify a range of dates by specifying and, and then the closing date. Let's go ahead and say less than or equal to, December 31st, 2012. So 12 slash 31 slash 2012. Again, I press enter and access wraps around the pound symbols. Let's go ahead and run this. And we'll see all the employees, there's 94 of them, that were hired in 2012. Now there's one other way that we can specify ranges of dates and it's a little bit easier to read. Let's go back into design view. I'm gonna highlight all of this and delete. Instead of typing in greater than or equal to and less than or equal to, what we can use is the words between the starting date, let's say 1, 1, 2012, and the closing date, 12 slash 31, 2012. The between and syntax is inclusive. So if I run this query, you'll get exactly the same results. We have 94 employees, including Michael Harvey, that was hired on January 1st, 2012. So using dates and date ranges in a queries criteria field is a very common way to return the most significant data or to limit the returns to only the most recent and relevant time periods.